say um, with kids. And then while they were having their cereal, I sent them upstairs to uh, put some bass parts in um, to the title track of the album um, that Jack sent over at about 11.30 last night. So we're on different hours, the band you see. So um, I did say to him, let me know when you sent them, but I was already asleep. Um, okay, so we have, I say we, it's just me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to like working with everyone. I mean, no, it's not just me. Like I've been putting stuff out to Jack and Michael, but like on a normal situation on all the other albums, I've written the songs on the piano and the guitar. Then we've gone into a studio to rehearse it with the um, back line, which is the drums, bass, the guitar and me. And then we've produced it from there on in. So the lads have sort of been in creatively from the beginning. But this time it's completely different. Um, so I produced a James Lewis on those albums, but this is the first time I'll go down as producer. Um, but ultimately I've just been on the top floor. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it's, it's a little attic conversion um, that sort of doubles up as a spare bedroom. It's got a desk for Ellie to do her work. And then there's like a little L section that's like a, I call it my spaceship. gigs because that's kind of the only way you can get out there and recoup um, financially because of the streaming platforms and everything else but you still want to make music you still want everybody to hear your music um, so I, 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 I absolutely knew that there had to be another way without having to hire the big studios and everything else of course I miss that like it's it's an amazing thing to be in a room with this kind of glass partitions between all the musicians so you can see each other and play together but obviously all the instruments are isolated so I do miss that, but I'm excited because I wouldn't have gone down the avenue I've gone with this album if we'd have continued in that kind of organic way. It's a really upbeat record and I went that way because I needed escapism from everyday world news, which has just been so depressing. Um, so the songs are full of hope. They're... Um, it's an album about a long-term relationship, a marriage, if you like. I think lyrically, it's it's about everything that happens within those relationships over a long period of time. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. I would have given my own. I would have fallen for you. I would have given my own. Sarah, my old manager, came back on board and. Um, said do you want it to be an album well of course we'd all like it to be an album but the first five songs took me five months to write and we now have two months to do another five so um i looked at the themes of those first five tracks and realized that completely by coincidence it was a love story of sorts i had to think more logically about how how to write five more songs that were within the realm and the world of the album and I think the last song I wrote, and do you know this has happened every single time on every album? The last song I wrote has become the title of the album, which is which is This Love. Um, in a disco song. I don't know how you 